Just before sunrise on Mars, something massive pierced the morning clouds, a towering shape suspended in the planet's thin atmosphere. It's not new, but it's never been seen like this. Captured by NASA's Odyssey Orbiter, this rare view shows a colossal volcano rising above a glowing layer of clouds. The angle? Unlike anything we've seen from Mars before. In this episode, we'll reveal what this formation is, how the image was taken, and why it marks a major milestone in Martian science. On May 2, 2025, NASA's 2001 Mars Odyssey Orbiter captured a remarkable image of Arzia Mons, one of the solar system's tallest volcanoes, breaking through a canopy of early morning water ice clouds. This view wasn't just a lucky snapshot, it was part of an ongoing observational campaign that began in 2023 when the spacecraft began photographing the Martian horizon. Odyssey, originally designed to capture downward images of the Martian surface, now periodically rotates 90 degrees to point its Themis camera sideways. This allows scientists to view atmospheric layers and surface features in profile, opening new opportunities for studying vertical structure and atmospheric behavior. At 20 kilometers tall, Argia Mons is the southernmost volcano in the Tharsis Montes region. On this particular morning, its summit rose above the dense water ice clouds, known as the Aphelian Cloud Belt. This seasonal belt forms when Mars is at its farthest point from the Sun, creating a band of clouds around the equator. The image also shows a faint greenish hue, caused by sunlight scattering through ice crystals in the upper atmosphere. The resulting view is not just visually breathtaking, it's scientifically rich, offering a perspective that reveals how the Martian sky and terrain interact. For the first time, a Martian volcano has been captured from this horizon angle, revealing the kind of dynamic layering we typically associate with Earth. The result bridges the gap between satellite imaging and the astronaut's eye-level view from orbit. The key innovation is vertical imaging. By rotating Odyssey to capture limb views of the Martian horizon, scientists gain a three-dimensional look at atmospheric layers. This angle makes it possible to analyze cloud heights, dust behavior, and how different atmospheric strata respond to seasonal changes. The May 2nd image provided unprecedented insight into the vertical structure of water ice clouds forming above volcanic terrain. Arzia Mons serves as a perfect case study for this research. Its height forces air to rise, expand, and cool, triggering cloud formation. These clouds are most prominent during Mars' aphelion, when the planet is farthest from the sun and surface temperatures drop. The aphelion cloud belt that wraps around the equator forms thick bands of condensation, often centered around tall volcanoes like Arzia Mons. A particularly interesting phenomenon linked to this is the Arzia Mons elongated cloud, AMEC a narrow, westward-stretching cloud that sometimes extends over a thousand kilometers. Observations of this feature help researchers study the planet's wind dynamics, moisture transport, and temperature gradients in ways that would be impossible from surface level or overhead views alone. In addition to visual imaging, Themis collects infrared data that helps identify thermal anomalies. These anomalies reveal more than temperature shifts. They point to the possible presence of subsurface water ice. Certain regions around Arcea Mons show signs of retaining heat longer than others, suggesting that layers of ice or brine might exist just below the surface. These findings are vital for future missions, particularly those involving human exploration, as buried ice could supply water, oxygen, and even fuel. Moreover, Arzia Mons is of interest due to its relatively young geological age. While most of Mars' volcanic activity ceased billions of years ago, studies indicate that Arzia Mons may have erupted as recently as 10 to 90 million years ago. That means the volcano could still be geothermally active beneath its surface. The ability to detect even subtle temperature variations could provide clues to lingering heat sources, underground magma chambers, or evolving geological processes. This image also deepens our understanding of how Mars' atmosphere changes through the seasons. 
The variations in cloud opacity, structure, and distribution observed in limb images are being used to calibrate global climate models. These models help forecast dust storm behavior, predict thermal patterns, and improve atmospheric entry simulations, all essential components for future landings. This single image has set the stage for a new era of Martian exploration. First and foremost, it demonstrates the value of limb imaging as a long-term atmospheric monitoring tool. By observing the Martian atmosphere in cross-section, scientists can build more accurate 3D models of cloud formation, dust dispersion, and temperature layering. These models are now being used to refine predictions for spacecraft descent conditions, a critical concern for any mission that involves landing on the planet. For crewed missions, this kind of data becomes even more important. Landing astronauts on Mars safely will depend on understanding not just the terrain, but the air column above it. Variables like wind shear, visibility, and cloud cover all influence the risks during entry, descent, and landing. Mars Odyssey's data helps mitigate those risks by giving planners a more complete atmospheric profile. There are also major implications for site selection in future missions. Areas near Arzia Mons, rich in geological history and likely home to subsurface ice, could offer the best combination of scientific value and resource availability. Themis. Thermal scans can identify zones with stable ground temperatures, ideal for building infrastructure, storing equipment, or establishing habitats shielded from extreme surface conditions. Another exciting prospect is the exploration of lava tubes on Mars. Arzia Mons, like many Martian volcanoes, is thought to contain large underground lava tubes formed by ancient volcanic flows. Some Themis imagery has revealed temperature anomalies that might correspond to skylights, collapsed sections of these tubes. These caverns could provide natural shelter from radiation and temperature swings. Horizon imaging helps assess how these structures affect local climate. This approach is already inspiring mission planners to think differently. Instead of retiring spacecraft when their primary mission ends, we can adapt them to gather new types of data. Odyssey's successful shift proves that spacecraft longevity isn't just about endurance, it's about flexibility. Instruments can be repurposed, flight paths adjusted, and scientific goals reimagined. Looking ahead, the limb viewing strategy could be applied to other Martian landmarks. Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system, could offer similar atmospheric interactions, but on an even grander scale. The deep canyons of Valles Marineris may reveal morning fogs and temperature inversions unlike anything seen before. A systematic horizon survey across Mars could help us chart a new kind of atmospheric map, one based not just on height or depth, but on interaction and change. As we look forward to more missions, more data, and eventually boots on Martian soil, it's clear that every image, every sensor, and every orbit still has something new to teach us. Mars isn't finished telling its story. We're just starting to listen more closely.